cases after cases coming to light of medical negligence and children dying because allegedly due to lack of oxygen. First, it happened in Gorakhpur. Now, a similar case happening in Farukabad. Thank you so much, Amir, for getting us all those details this morning of that shocking case of medical negligence coming to light from the state of Uttar Pradesh. In fact, the hospital horrors do not really end in the state of Uttar Pradesh. It goes on to even Gujarat, where days after death of 22 children due to lack of oxygen in Gorakhpur rocked the nation. A nine-month-old child allegedly died due to lack of oxygen at a government hospital named Sir Sayaji Rao Gaikwad Hospital of Vadodara. The family members accused the hospital administration and the doctor for the negligence. However, the hospital administration completely denies these accusations. छोकरा चेंज करने में वक्त नहीं लगा वो तो उसको तो ऑक्सीजन तो मिल ही रहा था लेकिन जो बोतल खोलने में वक्त लगा लेकिन इसकी इसमें लेना देना नहीं है बोतल तो उसको कभी भी जरूरत पड़े इसीलिए उन लोगों ने बोतल खोलने की कोशिश की उसमें खोलने में दिक्कत हो गई और टाइम लगा लेकिन इसकी वजह से हुआ ऐसा नहीं उसको तो ऑक्सीजन मिल ही रही था उस टाइम ऑक्सीजन है ऑक्सीजन की कोई ऐसी शॉर्टेज नहीं बिल्कुल शॉर्टेज नहीं in fact, joining me on the phone line is President of IMA, Dr. K.K. Agarwal. Uh, good morning, sir. It does not really paint a very good picture of the kind of health care uh, that is prevalent in this country. We have seen cases after cases. Uh, it started with Gorakhpur. It has gone to Farukabad, where a similar case has come to light of oxygen, uh, alleged oxygen supply being cut off. Vadodara, another case there coming to light. Your first reaction on the kind of cases that are coming to light, and don't you think it is quite alarming uh, to see the healthcare crisis in this country? I think what we need is we need a paradigm shift in our thinking. This is only a tip of an iceberg. These cases will go on occurring. Mini Gorakhpur are occurring every day. What you are talking about is a mini Gorakhpur occurring all over the country. These will go on unless we change the perception and the paradigm shift in the thinking of the government. Today's thinking is that 1% of the GDP is sufficient. But, but remember, government is only taking care of 20% of the population. 80% are going to the private sector. And those 80% um, cannot afford it. So they ultimately go back to the government sector, and the government sector is overloaded. So the first policy of the government, do not refuse admissions in government sector, has to be changed. Do you, do you overcrowd Air India? No. You do not take a single passenger extra in Air India flights. Similarly, in a hospital, not even a single extra patient should be taken. And those patients should be. Every government hospital should have one panel, private hospitals, on a, on a predefined rate which government should pay. If the government has a capacity for 100, if there are 150 patients, right. 50 patients should go to private sector and the government should pay.